Our natural spaces are so important for our residents' physical and mental well-being, so it is key that we involve everyone in the development of our local nature recovery strategy. And here we can see some of the ways in which we might anticipate dealing with some of our major environmental challenges going into the future. For example, through the creation of wetland features like this sustainable drainage system here, which will help to take some of the water that's going to come with more extreme rainfall. This is part of a biodiversity net gain contribution linked to the development whereby the people building the houses will ensure not only that the nature that was lost in that process is restored, but also adding 10% extra, hence the net gain. It's great to be here today with Natural England to see the contribution new developments across the city region can make to biodiversity and connect more people with nature and discuss the opportunities we have to align economic growth with nature recovery to benefit both people and nature. The overarching theme that's run through the day is not just the enthusiasm for biodiversity net gain, but how important it is that the habitats we're creating are also accessible to people. We're excited to bring forward that Alwood Habitat Bank in Greater Manchester. Our mission to rebuild nature and repower communities is visible on the ground here with over 350 hectares of land being set aside for nature recovery. BNG drives changes in construction and development by encouraging the consideration of nature at the start of the design and development process. The North Stone area site in Bolton showcases how biodiversity can be increased as part of a residential development, combating both nature and the housing crisis simultaneously. As part of the development, 1.5 hectares of woodland and 1.2 hectares of lowland meadow have been created in the nearby fields, as well as 700 metres of hedgerow. From post-development to pre-development, the site has achieved an uplift of 15.4% in area habitats and over 400% in hedgerow units, therefore going above the 10% government requirement and allowing the surplus to be used to offset planning applications that cannot be the 10% requirement in this area. Biodiversity net gain, a world leading new policy that if we link it to the 1.5 million houses that are projected to be built over the next five years can make a real contribution to better places to live 